Are binaural beats actually safe or are there some dangers that you don't know? Now I'm going to explain in this video the top dangers and warnings about binaural beats or isochronic tones or just brainwave entrainment in general. And I'm sure you've seen that all over YouTube, okay, these binaural beats tracks where they in claim to help you induce lucid dreaming or meditation or any kind of effect that you can imagine. And you're probably wondering, hold on a second, are binaural beats actually safe or are there any dangers that I need to be concerned about or worried about? Now the first thing I want to mention, and this is kind of obvious, but I will get into the more advanced and you know more dangerous warnings later on. The first one is that as with any sound wave audio track, especially meditation tracks, you've got to remember that if you're listening to this while you're sleeping, you have no way, once you've fallen asleep, you have no way of telling how loud the track is. So you really need to sort of skim through it before you go to sleep to make sure that there's no like really loud noises or you know maybe there's like a swelling of music or it gets louder as time goes on. Because if you're asleep and you're listening to this and it's really loud, you're not able to realize how loud it is and turn it off. So you could actually damage your hearing. And this is something that is never spoken about. This is one big danger of binaural beats that most people don't know is that when you're asleep, you have no idea how loud the track is. So you need to make sure before you listen to it that it's not too loud or it doesn't become loud later in the night. Number two, if you have any history or if anyone in your family has a history with things like epilepsy or seizures or anything like that or heart problems as well, you need to do your research and test it carefully before you really go into it and actually commit to listening to a track for eight hours while you're sleeping. Because you could have like the worst case scenario and it's not very common, okay, I'll tell you that now. But there are some cases of people who will listen to a binaural beats track and then about four or five hours into the track, when they're asleep, they will have a seizure or they'll have some kind of epileptic fit. Like I said, this is very rare, but this can happen. So it would be horrible if you happened to have a history of epilepsy that you didn't know about or that someone in your family did and it just took this one track that you listened to to actually trigger that. Now, there are various ways you can test for epilepsy. I think you can just get a test done at your GP, but really, you know, it depends where you live. So the first thing would be to ask anyone in your family, like, is there a history of epilepsy or seizures or things like that in the family? And that will give you some indication as to whether you might be at risk, but really you need to play it carefully. Just take it slowly. Don't just jump in and straight away listen to a nine hour track. If you've not listened to them before, just try a 10 minute track when you're wide awake and there's someone around you, just in case. I know this is kind of erring on the side of caution here, but you don't want to have the worst case scenario happen. You want to just play it safe at the beginning. Okay, so that's the second danger of binaural beats. Now, the other danger of binaural beats, and this is kind of um, like an indirect danger, is that if you are, for example, pregnant, breastfeeding, or the usual kind of stuff that you wouldn't want to do something that could influence your judgment or awareness, things like operating machinery, driving, working, you know, any kind of thing like that, in those cases, obviously, you don't want to listen to binaural beats while you're doing that thing. If you're pregnant or breastfeeding, you want to be careful because, like I said, an epileptic seizure at that time could be really damaging to the kid. And so basically just use your kind of common sense to realize when you shouldn't be listening to binaural beats. It's usually if you're moving around, okay? You should not be listening to them at that time. You should be in a relaxed place where you can't fall over. You should be laying down. It should be a calm environment. And there ideally should be somebody in the house or in the room with you just in case for the first time until you realize that you are fine with listening to binaural beats. But really that is the main dangers of binaural beats to be aware of. Now, you're probably wondering, hold on a second, do they actually work? And here's my response to that. Yes, they have been shown to work, okay? They have been shown to be able to change your brainwave state or raise it or lower it, depending on you know, what you're trying to do with them. There are binaural beats that can do anything. You can find a binaural beat that will make you more relaxed. You can find one that will help you sleep better. And you can find one that will raise your energy and make you feel more motivated or more energetic or even just more awake. So you really need to know what binaural beat you're listening to and if it's been made properly, okay, if it's actually been produced properly by a professional or by somebody who knows what they're doing, then they'll be created for a specific reason or a specific purpose. Each binaural beat track is tuned to a certain frequency and those frequencies will determine what effect they have on your brain. Let's say if you listen to one which is theta, that is very different to listening to an alpha binaural beat which is mainly about focus and awareness. The theta is more relaxed meditation, dreaming, lucid dreaming, astral projection kind of vibes. So you need to make sure you know what track you're actually listening to. Don't just listen to any binaural beats track. Let's say for example you're trying to sleep or you have insomnia. 
you don't want to be listening to like an alpha or a beta binaural beat because that's going to just keep you awake for longer. That's what it's designed to do. So do some kind of research. I have other videos on my channel about binaural beats and how they work. And I also will put a link in the description to the best binaural beats that I know of. And it's going to be a comparison post. I've written a long detailed post comparing the top binaural beats. And I know you're probably in a rush, so it does actually, you know, summarize at the top and bottom the best ones and where to get them. But beyond that, just give it a try. Try things out. Now, one thing I would say, the binaural beats you find on YouTube are not going to be at that high quality. They're not going to be produced properly because for the most part it's just people experimenting on Audacity and these other programs that you can use to make your own binaural beats. It's not going to be the highest quality on YouTube, okay? I'm just saying that straight away. Now I have actually produced some myself on YouTube and you can find those in my channel as well just to go into my channel and search binaural but like I said the quality is nowhere near as good as if you had bought a professional binaural beats track or a package or something like that. So check out the link in the description and let me know what you think about binaural beats and how they have had an effect on you.